What's to get? Nothing. Well, I wouldn't make anything up. Look, I'm willing to trust you. I can't work with you, Finelli. There's too much bad blood. What about your wife? You didn't kill her. My uncle did. Yeah. And there's my daughter. Your daughter? Yeah. You're the one who warned Joe about the bomb in Ryan's bar. That saved her life. You know what that means to me? As far as I'm concerned, we're starting fresh. Now, what about it? Kind of hard to imagine a whole person weighing just three pounds, isn't it? Yeah. My book bag weighs more than that. That's right. You know what else? He's got this fuzzy red mohawk goes right down the center of his head. Can you imagine that? So, uh, want to go see him? Yeah, I would. Doesn't Aunt Siobhan have to be married to, uh, you know? Yeah, well, it uh, generally does work better that way, but it doesn't always work that way. Is it one of those things I'm not supposed to ask questions about? And maybe you'd better not ask Aunt Siobhan about it, not just you. Then you tell me, if Aunt Siobhan has a baby, how come she's not married? So you gonna tell me what happened last night? Crew, last night was absolutely the worst night of my entire life. They didn't give it to you? Oh, they gave it to me all night. Right between the eyes. I got thrown out again. And not only that, that guy, Tim, you know, the stage manager? He almost lost his job because of me. What are you going to tell your family? Nothing. I can't tell them anything. I stayed out practically the entire night so that I wouldn't have to answer their questions. Baby sweetheart. Yes. I wouldn't look now, but your grandpa's over there giving you a look that I would not call pleasant. Thank you. What's wrong? I don't know, but we can't stay around for the fireworks. Come on, John, we better get you to school. Here we go again. Won't anyone to say anything to me? Right, later. Yeah. So long, thank you, Doc. Take care. Hey, Frank. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. Oh, Katie. Yeah. We have to talk. Grandpa, we're right in the middle of the morning rush right now. Go ahead, Katie. You got a few minutes. You come sit down, please. I'd like to hear where you were last night. Worried? About what? About Frank. I said I'd be. How about Jillian? Do you mind working with her? She'll do her job and I'll do mine. Maggie, I know a great deal about your family problems. Please don't be embarrassed. I'm not very proud of what happened. Well, I'm not sitting in judgment, believe me. But you don't want my personal life to get in the way of the fundraising. Don't worry, it won't. I know. It won't if you're honest. Not with me, but with yourself. Know thyself. Two simple words that give us control over the way we live. Well, that's fine, but which me do I get to know? Mm -hmm. How many of you are there? Too many. Made me. Why? I'm just a confused girl from Tacoma. No, no. You're a great deal more than that. Well, at least I am me now. Mm. And, uh, who were you before? Mm. For a while I was Jillian. Or at least I tried to be. See, when I got here and saw what she was, what she had, Yes. Money. Education. Mm hmm And a real house. You see, where I come from, I lived in a trailer. In a ticky-tacky tin can. I lived in a trailer and I worked in a tuna factory. Just me and the tuna stuffed into tin cans. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we even came to New York together. Me and the tuna. I don't know. I think the resemblance ends there. Right. It doesn't pretend to be anything it isn't. Yes, because the tuna has no imagination. 
Make believe is to create your own future. Well, it didn't do much for me. It just got me into more trouble. <laughs> well, give yourself a chance. You have a lot of possibilities. Mm, just two, really. Tell me about Maggie number one. The wife. Loving the best man in the <laughs> world. And cooking and having a lot of kids. Mm-hmm. And Maggie number two? Rich and famous. A star. Showing them all. Especially the ones that laughed at her. Two roads. And one life. Which do you think you'll choose? Do you really think I have a choice? Oh, yes. You make your own fate. Whatever you decide, aim high. A man's reach should exceed his grasp. Or oh, what's a heaven for? Robert Browning. Robert Browning? Yes, he's a great poet. I'd like to learn about those things, too. I guess I just want it all. Well, don't worry, Maggie. I'm sure you'll find plenty of people who are more than willing to teach you everything you want to learn. I'm flattered, Finelli. By what? Your confidence? Do you really think I'm in the tracks? I understand that you're trying to get enough money to buy your own cab. Good start. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I don't think it's going to work. I can't save a dime. Yeah, well, what are the alternatives? Well, I'm not going to be fencing or running numbers, if that's what you mean. So what are you doing? Eh... Uh, they asked me if I want to manage this gym. I'm thinking. Well, so why the long face? Congratulations. It's not like running your own business. Yeah, well, at least you'll have the answer to, uh, where's the beef? Uh, now, look, if we got a deal, you'll be getting something from me, too. Now, maybe between me and uh, this gym, you'll uh, have enough to buy that cab one of these days. Do you think I'm clean enough to work with you? 